Ho hello there. I'm Bocha and a cute bear. Alamoud. I am Nimakung, a cute bear who loves pudding. <laughs> By the way, the Lamoud is a French word. Meaning in fashion or modern. That does make sense, in a way. Oh. That being said, I'm starting to understand what it means to solve equations. But why is solving equations so important? Well, since we understand the meaning of solving equations to some extent, let's think about its significance next. To be able to understand the world and do amazing things, we need to understand and master various patterns and laws in the world. The law that I am cute and everyone smiles. <laughs> For example, if you keep running at the same speed, multiplying speed by time run gives the distance run. Of Bill Chanson say ignored me. Please continue. All right, I'll continue. If you run at three kilometer per hour for two hours, since you run three kilometer per hour in one hour for two hours, this happens. Yes, that's right. When speed and time run are known. We can figure out the distance run from there. But can this law only be used to find the distance run? You mean it can also be used to find speed or time? Yes. If you ran at 5 km per hour end and did up running 35 km per hour, you don't know the time run. But considering it as XRS, which means viewing it as a variable, the equation would look like this. To make it easier to understand, instead of using x, we could use the word time from the original equation. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us time equals 7. S. That's right. This means that we were originally using the information of speed and time to find the distance. But since we don't know the time, from the speed and the supposed result, the distance. We are back calculating using the law. Solving an equation means back calculating using the law. But in that case, it seems like you could just do division and get the answer right away. Why bother with an equation? It's true that in this case you can easily find the answer. But that's because the original law is very simple. Just multiplying once to find the distance. And because you already knows that the reverse calculation of multiplication is division. Are there more complicated laws? Let's think of a slightly more complicated example then. For instance, when you release a ball from 100 meter above the ground, about one second later it's roughly of 100 minus 5 times 1 times 1 equals 95 meter above. Two seconds later, at 100 minus 5 times 2 times 2 equals 80 meter above. Three seconds later, at 100 minus 5 times 3 times 2 equals 55 meter above. That's the law. So it's like this. Oh, it seems complicated. Then, when will the ball touch the ground? Or be zero meter above the ground? Uh, it may not be as straightforward as the previous division. But it's okay. In such cases, like before, if we consider the time when it touches the ground as x seconds, we create this equation. If we use the English word for variable, it looks like this. I see from here. Like dividing both sides by 5 in the simple example. 
we solve the equation and find the value of x. That's right. That's how it is. I won't explain how to solve this equation this time. But if we can solve this equation, in other words, if we can find the value of x from this equation, by calculating based on time and using rule, to determine how many meters above the ground it is, we essentially work backwards from the information of its height above the ground to determine the time. The back calculated original value is call the solution of the equation or I say to sum out. If we can back calculate in other words, if we can solve equations, even if we explore the world and find various laws, we can fully utilize the laws we've found. That's why solving equations is important. I understand very well. I think I'll replenish my shke with putting and review what I've learned. Oh.